Hello students, welcome back to one more session of your grade 10th that is your CBSE or the state board NCRT textbook. So till now I have done all the three chapters 100% perfectly along with activities. So to the topic which we are going to do is uh, carbonates compounds. So in carbonates compounds already I have given you uh, your introduction of the chapter. I have already taught you what are electron dot structures. I have also taught you what are means basically what are allotropes of carbon. So here today I I'm going to teach you the concept that is versatile nature of carbon so let us write the heading quite interesting and very easy topic actually versatile nature of carbon so what actually is versatile nature of carbon let us see what is the definition what is versatility right so here when I say this word versatile so not a word which will not use it much but simple word nothing versatility means easily adaptable easily adaptable how does it adapt so basically when I see or when I speak about this element carbon, carbon the most important element on this earth's crust as we have seen in the introduction video also. So carbon as an element is atomic number 6 right. When I divide this element atomic number or when I divide into K shell 2 electrons and 4. Now the whole concept of carbon existing as hundreds and uh, thousands of compounds is because of this valency now as i said carbon has four electrons this carbon can comfortably combine with four different types of atoms that is so here because of this four electrons or four sharing carbon can observe or form or show us two types of characteristics one is cat catenation property as well as tetravalent property okay tetravalent property now see here just now i said four so tetravalency four ele valence electrons now let us take one after the other and understand when i say tetravalency now carbon as an element it can combine or it has the capacity to combine with on all the sides carbon atom this is one Carbon has a capacity of combining with all hydrogens on all the four sides. This is one. Carbon has a capacity of combining with different atoms like hydrogen, chlorine, fluorine, bromine. This is one. But ultimately the tetravalency or the four carbon and or the four atoms or the valency should be satisfied. So, this carbon, because of this tetravalency, what is it happening? First thing I am going to write under tetravalency is, let us write, because of tetravalent uh, element or tetravalency, what is that? It is forming more number of compounds. This is one. It combines with more number of heteroatoms. I am going to introduce this word heteroatoms now. Ma'am, what is this heteroatoms? Nothing. Hetero means different. Just now we have seen, no, hydrogen is one, chlorine is one, bromine is one, oxygen is one, like everything Cl2, Br2, like that carbon combines with hydrogen, oxygen. So it, it's going to form the basic unit. As I said, it is there in materials. It is there in our biosystems, the life systems. It is there in our foods which we take like carbohydrates, proteins, fats like that. It is there in everything which we are using. So there is no element, no, there are elements which it doesn't contain uh, inorganic like that. But there are, like, you know, every Every element has carbon in its combination. It combines maximum with oxygen and hydrogen and also with this. So tetravalency makes or allows the carbon to form more and more elements and more and more compounds. Done. Now after this tetravalency, next thing, I said this carbon having four electrons, it can act or it can 
combine together to form or show as a property called catenation okay so now what is catenation see here catenation means the key word is self linking self linking so what happens is carbon shows four valency that is for sure i also understood carbon combines with hydrogen oxygen chlorine bromine fluorine n number of compounds but always there should be four uh, four different atoms or four atoms around it done now i said here this carbon what it does it combines self linkage means it combines with itself like this it can form a chain like this when it forms a chain or this self linkage property is called catenation so catenation means self linkage when it is linking like this i call it as a straight chain straight chain so it forms straight chain further it can also self link and form a branched chain like this so this is branched chain okay good it can also together form a compound like benzene forming cyclic structures it can also form cyclic compounds see here cyclic it is something like this cyclic cyclic structure it also has a capacity of forming cyclo compounds like we call it as cyclo compounds cyclopropane cyclobutane cycloheptane see here how many it also has a capacity of forming 60 carbon atoms that is nothing but c60 what is c60 compound called it is called buckminster fullerene there is an allotrope isn't it this is called buckminster fullerene buckminster fullerene there are different atoms like carbon which also forms catenation like sulfur sulfur how many atoms s8 phosphorus it forms p4 like that self catenating property is there which will make the bond stronger and stronger right now see straight chain branched chain cyclic structures it forms a dome shaped structure with 60 carbon atoms it forms cyclo compounds like this what are these called cyclo compounds so because of this catenating property we are finding more and more new new compounds every time isn't it what is making this it is only making or it is only the versatile nature of carbon it is adaptability of carbon to combine with n number of compounds so when your teacher asks you what is versatile nature you say carbon has an atomic number 6 it has four valence electrons it shows two types of properties one is tetra valency and next is catenation self linkage you can write this as one forming straight chain you can form two branched chain you can form three cyclic chain you can form four cyclo compounds you can form uh, five this is also cyclic only buckminster fullerene a new compound so like this this can explain the versatility of carbonate so next let us come and see the next topic